I'm my name is Patricia McCollum and I uh, run a wee community group here in Molly Dig called Molly Dig Rural Network and I am involved in Sudbury Housing Forum. I'm actually the Vice Chair there and I'm Chair of the Rural Residence Forum and I also sit on seven working groups for them as well. I got a house very young here and uh, the minute the right to buy scheme was there so after I uh, ran for three years at that stage you were allowed to buy a house. So I bought it here because I just love the area and I love everything about it. So it's just lovely here. Well, I'm vice chair of it and I've been involved, I think it's around 21 years. And um, so we look at new policies, we do a bit of scrutinizing. We're actually used as a, as a for consultation um, for actually more than just the housing executive. So we're sort of well known out there now for, for being really good practice. So we've done a lot of work on, on, on different policies and, and procedures. And plus then we meet with the board as well and uh, the directors. I know they've done an awful lot of work and it's not the housing tax fault because they do all, they definitely do the needs test perfectly, but it's getting the housing associations to come on board. So, and I know there's a, a big plan of work going to happen, getting uh, rural dwells up to standard. So I, I definitely am very happy about that. Since 2011, and um, we had a, a group previous to that, my big um, association, community association, and we sort of had a wish list, which we achieved. It was more about sorting out infrastructure, getting lights, getting footpaths. So then, um, my big rural network started in 2011 when new mummies had come into the area and when they closed the doors at night, they felt very isolated. So this one was developed from it and it has been amazing. We've had, we've had, we do a lot of, of, of different educational stuff, but we really have good fun. So we do dig in the dig for raise money to keep us going, make it sustainable. And we do fun days, we do, you know, so much. And uh, it's grown from strength to strength, and then of course over COVID, we were chocolate block. Um, we helped at least two thousand families uh, in the year, and uh, was very very busy. Why well, became a rep for the Red Cross Hardship Fund? Um, so we got you know quite a few uh, that money. Plus then we set up a food bank, so we were feeding people. But um, we actually delivered a thousand of the Department of Communities free boxes, as we call them. But those boxes were okay, but there was no hygiene or personal care um, parts on it. So we sort of would have helped with that and delivered fresh meat and vegetables. And we delivered everything, newspapers, everything. We actually had to hire a bus, which the, the housing sector helped us pay um, because there was that much work been done. Right? And so, yeah, that was really, really full on. We were actually finished there in, in March. And we actually done a Santa Claus appeal too. There was a lot of kindness. Definitely, definitely was shown and, and, and came out last year. It was lovely. Um, to be one of the first um, as a rural champion was amazing because of course it was a, a new concept. Um, so yes, delighted, absolutely chuffed. So it's just nice to be recognised. Like nobody does this work and you don't certainly do it for 21 years just to get recognised. But it's nice if they do. And then we won the Community Spirit Award too for that actual group which was lovely uh, for all the members. So yes, delighted with it. As you know, we, I'm, an, I'm chair of a rural residence forum and that was at when we started um, through a piece of work with the Housing Executive and, and Rural Community Networks. And, um, and they found that there was hard to reach, easy to ignore groups and rural was one of them. So I'm, I'm hoping we're not like that anymore, I think. Uh, I seem to be the rural voice no matter where I go now. And um, I do think the housing sector really took this serious and, and set this up. And it's from community groups, rural community groups all over Northern Ireland. So yes, it's 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 great um, to have that voice. And it's when we're at that forum, it's just purely rural. There's you know it's it's there's nothing else comes into it. I do think we, we need to look seriously at new builds and whatever form it takes. I, um, as I said, I've been involved in a research paper and we've almost come up with a solutions paper. Um, so there's an awful lot of work done there. There's a severe lack 
like I was in a, a meeting this morning, we were saying about succession tenancies or succession planning to bring young ones forward to take over community groups. But where do they live? They, they can't stay here, there's no houses for them. So um, I think that's that's one of the main things that need to, need to be done. And of course then to keep the houses up to scratch, which they are definitely doing at the minute. There's a lady here remembers when it was council owned and then the housing centre come on board and it was only then that the house, they actually got bathrooms, running water, electricity and all. So the housing centre make, definitely make big changes and around the state at the minute you can see that all the houses have nice new windows. They all got a lovely bit built on there to make them like a decent sized kitchen, um, dinette bit and hopefully then we're getting a shared space. Uh, in our green area now from House Executive uh, in a wee patio area so we can bring everybody out and have barbecues and, and use it. So, Well of course and then like I, I represent the, the tenants here like and like there's hardly a day goes by but you don't get a phone call about something so it's very handy um, and work very very well with the patch manager. Roisin Hamilton so we do a lot of work together there's a lot of phone calls come through you know, with, with different issues. I think that was one of the reasons why I got involved in the forums at the start, was to make sure that the rural tenants were, were not being left back, left behind, and make sure that they get everything that they're, they're due. And I can't believe the stuff I've got involved in, from planning big conferences to, to being on a welfare working group, to making sure there's social clauses within contracts so it's, it's quite fast and I've really enjoyed it and I've enjoyed the opportunity.